Chicago Fire head coach Frank Klobos following the club's 3-1 victory with the New York Red Bulls. Frank, if you could start with uh, your thoughts on the match. Yeah, I mean, obviously a great win. It's good to be back home. And obviously it was important after this uh, two-week break to, to, you know, to start off on the right track. We talked about being coming out from the beginning and uh, having a good start to the game uh, and pressure right off the bat so uh, we can make this really a home field advantage with the you know, great fans that we had. We had a great start. You know, the first 15, 20 minutes, I thought we were very good. Uh, we lost our momentum a little bit in the rhythm uh, after that because I think that you know, we needed to be a little bit more simple in our decision making with the ball. Needed to be better and, uh, and then we just you know, turned the ball over a little bit. Uh, but then after that, I thought that, uh, you know, we, we gave up a goal off a set piece. Uh, but then the team responded very well. Uh, uh, give credit to the players. And I uh, think the, you know, great fans were coming on and watching the game. It was a great victory for us. We'll go to Len and Seth. He uh, disallowed goal. They had called, uh, seemed to be motivation. No, definitely. You saw uh, uh, changed a little bit where the players, you know, after that even pushed even harder uh, to get the win, uh, and they did. I think they never lost uh, uh, confidence or, or the belief. Uh, Chris played a great through ball, you know, and, uh, you know, what are you going to do to move on? I think the team responded uh, uh, really well after that, and, uh, you know, like I said, I thought that uh, just a very important uh, win for us. Great to be back home with our great fans. So now we just got to build on this, keep moving. It's behind us and uh, uh, get ready for Columbus, another tough match. Go ahead, Raquel. Uh, can you comment on Chris Rawls' per, uh, performance tonight? Coming down to the second half and really having that spark. Yeah, I thought Chris came in and obviously changed the game. You know, you can see the class that he has. And, you know, he's got really technical abilities, very clean feet, very good with the ball. You saw the, the one through ball that he, he played to to uh, uh, Oduro in that one. And then obviously, you know, his ability just uh, to make a good run in the back post. A lot of credit to Patrick, you know, being isolated one on one and being very aggressive and taking the player. But for him to be in the right spot and, you know, really putting the game away there, he's definitely a, uh, can be a difference maker. And, you know, I'm glad that, you know, he, he's back. Obviously, you saw towards the end one who played is a little bit rusty. And I know we just got to keep working with him from his fitness standpoint. and and uh, through games to get his sharpness back because uh, when he's 100% uh, uh, from a physical standpoint, uh, he can definitely uh, be a difference maker and a guy that scores goals. Warren? Frank, any comments on uh, the job the guys did defensively in Kenny Cooper tonight? Yeah, it was fantastic. You know, I think that we talked about, you know, just uh, missing some, you know, Arne in the back and obviously in Corey, but you know, Austin and Jalil, I mean, you know, they're, they're young, but with every game you can see the maturity level. Uh, they, they did a fantastic job. They're guys that you can count on. They compete. Uh, they're, you know, obviously very good in the air. And Cooper being a guy that, you know, uh, not only is good in the air, obviously he, he knows how to use his body really well. You know, I thought that they did a, a very good job. I thought the whole back line, and I, I even felt that Sean came up with some, some crucial saves in the game. but. You know, credit to, to, to those guys. I think they're, uh, you know, they did a very good job tonight, but they're the kind of guys that, you know, I know that's behind them, and now they're just looking forward to the next match, and you can just see how better, you know, they get better with, uh, with, with every game. Seth? Um, overall, would you call it the best offensive performance of the year? There were games if we scored chances, other chances, I could have called other games the best performance. So it's always good when, you know, when you create chances and you finish them. You know, because I think, for me, that hasn't been the, the case where we don't create chances. I think it was, we talked about just being, you know, coming out and starting games uh, and being <coughs> mentally focused from the start. Uh, and then even when you don't put your chances away, now you got to have the ability to lock games down and don't give anything away, you know, and uh, have guys that are going to be focused over 90 minutes. It's great now when you create, you know, three, four, five chances and you score three goals, four goals, if they were to count down. You know, so that's, that's great. It's great for the conference of the guys. I talked with, with with our forwards, and I think you got to have the mentality that you always got to be. Doesn't matter how many you miss; it's always about the next opportunity, and that's the kind of mentality you got to have. And I think this does help with, with uh, from a confidence standpoint. But even if they don't go in, you know, you got to be a guy that's always looking for the next opportunity. We're going to take two more questions. We're going to go here, and then we're going to round out with Jack. How is the tension among the team on the team on the field? How is the what? How, what is the tension like um, for you and your opposing team? 
the pension? Uh, I don't explain to me what you are, I don't understand what you're saying. Is there like a pension against the team other rivals? I think we'll go to yeah, the next question. Really, there's tension before every game, you know, for the players, I think, you know, so against every team you play, there's a rivalry. Go ahead, Jack. You, you just talked about uh, converting chances and, and finding defensive play. Would it be, how would you characterize this? Would this be the most complete game you guys have put together? We, we always need to look and get better. You know, obviously, you know, we talked about keeping limiting teams to opportunities and not giving goals away, keeping clean sheets. And when we do that, we feel that we, you know, we do have players that can change the game and, and create opportunities and score. So I think overall from the start to finish, I think, you know, it, it's better. You know, our focus, our concentration, the mentality, the work that has to be, finishing games off like this, not giving up, you know, getting the next goal. You know, I think all that's important. Now we got to continue to build, you know, and not relax because it's time for the next game. You know, I think the important thing is that to make sure that we're all focused in reaching our goals in the end and uh, not losing track of that. And, you know, this is behind us. Fantastic. Very good victory for the guys. Now we're back to work because that's the most important thing. The work that we do on the field prepares us for the games. Thank you, guys. Thank you.